Zoo Art Fair. Edinburgh has its fringe and so does Fries. If you're really after the cutting edge of young art, this is the place to come. Artist Ryan Gander is a rising star of the British art scene, but he's at Zoo as a gallerist with his not-for-profit space associates. Their artists operate more at the conceptual end of the art spectrum. How much have you got to spend? I've got £5,000. I've got to work for £5,000. If you buy this wheel, it'll cycle to Paris and fill it up with Paris Air and cycle back and give you the wheel. So you buy the object, but you buy his journey. Mm. It's an addition of three, £5,000. I could probably do you a small discount. And this is um, a diary of that he buys the Sun newspaper every day, and this is the Un from Sun. The so Un from Sun. The un and glues it down. So this is a, a diary of him travelling to the news agents every day, buying the newspaper. And if you buy it, he continues it for you and sends you the other sheets underneath. And inside here, there's um, page three girls that have been wrapped in doll's house paper. And then uh, there's these... Wait a minute, I still can't see the page three girls. Ah! What's the relevance of the sticks? Is you, you mean you don't know what the relevance of the sticks are? They, in the gallery, they went on the step and they showed some navigation path for the spectator to take through the gallery. OK, those are the steps. It's blazingly obvious to anybody, isn't it? Those are the steps that go up to the gallery, and if you haven't noticed and didn't know that, you shouldn't be here. <laughs> <laughs> Pajamas by Matthew Smith. This one's alive. Alive? And there's one over there that's dead. 1,200 of the pajamas. He Did he make the pajamas? No, he, he bought them in Selfridges. He bought, isn't that. I, I, <laughs> is that wrong? No, I, I don't there's think a, it's wrong. There's no, a, I'm not there's going a to be unsophisticated bit of craftsmanship in the folding, though. The folding, yeah. We have five knockers, door knockers, which is the shape of Freud's brain. That's Freud's this, brain, eh? Yeah, upside down. It looks like something um, significantly different. Although they provide a good mental workout, I'm not sure Ryan's conceptual chums are really for me. I make my excuses and leave in search of myself. <laughs>